All right, thanks for watching, and today we'll do something truly unbelievable. We'll find the arctangent of a matrix. And you're like, Payam, this is crazy. Yeah, crazy awesome. So for this, let's diagonalize the matrix minus one, two, minus one, two. Remember how to diagonalize a matrix. First find the eigenvalues. And for this, calculate the determinant of A minus lambda I, where A is this matrix. So you put lambdas on the diagonal and you put minus signs everywhere here. So lambda plus one, minus two, one, lambda minus two, you calculate the determinant. So AD minus BC, which becomes this times this, and then minus minus two, which is plus two. And then you fold this out. So lambda squared minus two lambda plus lambda minus two. And notice something beautiful here. The minus two cancels out with the two. So we're left with something very easy, namely lambda squared minus lambda equals lambda times lambda minus one. You set that equal to zero. And then ultimately you get either lambda is zero or lambda equals one. And the point is now to find the eigenvectors for each eigenvalue, find the corresponding null spaces. All right, and now let's find the eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals zero. This just means you have to find the null space of a minus lambda i, but where lambda is zero. And for this, you just go back to the previous equation and you plug in lambda equals zero in your matrix. So 0 plus i minus 2, 1, 0 minus 2, which becomes a null space of 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2. And to find the null space, you just row reduce to get 1 minus 2, 0, 0. And then there are two ways to proceed. Either you just find two easy numbers such that you get 0. And in particular, notice 2 minus 1 times 2 is 0. So one way to say is just, well, it's just a span of 2 comma 1. Because you see 2 times 1 minus 2 times 1 gives you 0. Or there's a slow way where you just solve it directly. So you do matrix applied to x, y is 0, 0. And then you just solve for x and y. So we get x minus 2y is 0. So x equals 2y. And therefore, x, y is 2y, comma, y, and that's y, comma, 2, comma, 1. And that's just the span of 2, comma, 1, because it's all the multiples of 2, 1. So that is one eigenvector. So an eigenvector corresponding to 0 is 2, comma, 1. And now, if you want, let's just do quickly the other eigenvalue. All right, and then for the other eigenvalue, it's uh, almost symmetric, no pun intended. But look, you just replace lambda equals 1, so you do null space of a minus 1i, which ultimately becomes a null space of 2 minus 2, 1 minus 1, which you can row reduce to 1 minus 1, 0, 0. And the point is, well, notice if you have, let's say, 1, 1, then you do get 0. So this becomes a span of 1, 1. Because you see, 1 times 1 plus 1 times minus 1 gives you 0. Or you do it the more systematic way by solving this equation. Matrix applied to x, y equals 0, 0, which ultimately gives you x equals y. So x, y is dos x, which gives you x times 1, 1. And that's why you have that. Therefore, we have the second eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals 1. And now let's conclude. Okay. So again, to summarize, for lambda equals 0, we had the vector 2, comma 1. For lambda equals 1, we had the vector 1, comma 1, which tells you the following. It tells you that A is PDP inverse, where uh, D is the matrix of eigenvalues. So 0, 0, 0, 1 where here are the eigenvalues, and P is the corresponding matrix of eigenvectors, so which is 2, 1, and then 1, 1. All right, and here's the amazing fact, as usual, about diagonalization. Namely, if A is PDP inverse, then A squared, it's PDP inverse, PDP inverse, 
and notice the p inverse and p cancels out and you get p diddy so p d d p inverse so p d squared p inverse and in general so notice a squared is p d squared p inverse and then a to the n just becomes p d to the n p inverse Well, and therefore it's true for powers, but that doesn't stop us to do it for any other kind of weird functions like arctangent. So in particular, what do we get? And therefore, arctangent of A is just P arctangent of D P inverse. And I do want to mention, um, I know it's a little bit hand wavy or being able to plug in uh, any kind of function here, but uh, the main reason it works is because of power series. So we've shown that for any power of A, we can just do A to the N equals PD to the N P inverse. But remember, arctangent has a power series. So X minus X cubed over three plus X to the fifth over five etc etc okay and um, yeah and then the, the however there are some issues if you want a radius of convergence but let's just sweep it under of the under the rug and <laughs> but here's okay because the eigenvalues I think are zero and one uh, so not too bad and therefore so how do you calculate arctangent of a diagonal matrix you just do arctangent of the diagonal entries so here we get 2 1 1 1 arctangent of 0 0 0 arctangent of 1 and then 2 1 1 1 inverse and therefore we get 2 1 1 1 so what's the um, angle whose tangent is zero, well zero, 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 the an easy angle whose tangent is one is pi over four. And then for this matrix, use the formula for the inverse of a two by two matrix. So one over the determinant, so two times one minus one, which is one. And then you switch those two entries and you do minus one of the non-diagonal entries. And then you just calculate this so we get 2, 1, 1, 1, okay, so 0, and then 0, and then minus pi over 4, and minus 1, so pi over 2. And last but not least, you calculate that, so minus pi over 4, and then 2, so pi over 2, and then minus pi over 4, and then pi over 2. So this is, in the end, the arctangent of the matrix. How crazy is that? And uh, what does that mean? I have no idea, but I'm sure it is a quantum mechanics interpretation of this. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.